Now, the Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASAP, is predicting a further accumulation of debts in the energy sector. This year, warning the situation will be dire as both the gold and the oil reserves are not capable of offsetting the debts accrued so far. Its executive director, Ben Boache, attributes the situation to the poorly negotiated power deals and the failure of state-owned enterprises to settle outstanding debts to creditors. Mr. Boache, however, notes that the only available option may be to consider sacrificing the budget to pay independent power producers to mitigate a potential power crisis. He has also indicated that consumers will have to psych their minds up to pay more for power supply if the efficiencies in the sector are not fixed. These are some of the lousy decisions that are going on uh, in the power sector that makes our situation much more precarious uh, for uh, 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 2024. But the reality is that we're going to rack up more debt. Uh, we're going to uh, have to sacrifice the budget as IPPs cough. Uh, and my worry essentially is that the state owned enterprises and entities in the space are going to really, really struggle. And the implication, if we are not careful, could be much more dire. Because you have the likes of uh, Gridco, would depend solely on uh, revenues from uh, e ECG. And they are not getting paid. If they don't get paid to maintain the grid infrastructure uh, and the grid goes off, everybody loses uh, power. And if they lose power, the sad part is that we're still going to pay for that power because the IPPs are committed uh, on a long-term take-or-pay basis. So we have to pay them whether uh, you need them uh, or, or not. The VRA is not going to get money. It, uh, they will make money from their own sale of power to other businesses, but ECG will continue to underpay them. Uh, uh, because the IPPs will be needing uh, the money. The IPP payments are over 70% in arrears, month-on-month uh, -month, uh, uh, basis. So that is also going to uh, continue uh, uh, to pile up. But to sum it all up, Pujo, uh, if you look at how we're behaving and how we're treating the energy sector, um, the reality is that you put our gold revenues together, you put our oil revenues together, and it's not enough to offset the mis mismanagement of the energy sector. Business as usual, you should expect some adjustment. Um, if we are not willing to um, fix the inefficiencies, recover revenues from power sold, um, then the few faithfuls are going to have to pay uh, for it. And that's been the trend. So we waste the energy, people steal the power, and if you are faithful enough to keep paying, then we always come to you uh, to pay more. And that has proven not to be uh, the solution. Um, just increasing uh, the tariff, and the data shows the more you increase the tariff, the more irresponsible people get. Because if they cannot pay, they are much more enticed to steal the power. But and especially our, why, our policy is to do full cost recovery. Under the IMF program, yes. yes. But it has failed, and the budget even recognizes that, that we've not been able to deliver on that. Um, and given that it's even an election year where the political appetite is going to crash with the demands of the uh, IMF to actually do cost recovery. If we don't fix the inefficiencies, um, we will never get to that point where we can say that this is the cost recovery when we are only racking up uh, the tariff on the few faithful ones.